gentlemen, it's the commissioner. Week six of the 2016 World Fantasy Football League season. Beautiful day up here in uh, Duluth, and uh, I was gonna get, uh, I was gonna do the commissioner's report with some uh, glorious, in fact, majestic uh, foliage behind me. Um, it just didn't work out. So um, I'm here, and I've got a truck that's about to pass me. So it's gonna get quite loud as he's coming really close. Uh, hang on. There it was. So why am I here? I'm gonna do a public service announcement. So I'm gonna to step to the side and you'll understand what I'm talking about. There we go. Cover your butt, get a colonoscopy. Mike, you're approaching that age, so. Gentlemen, week six, uh, what can I say? I'm just gonna go down everybody, uh, you know, starting out with Cooper. Cooper scored well, 67 point performance, uh, but you ran into PNS. Okay, you ran into points for PNS and uh, their 99 point output. So um, I got another truck that's gonna be coming by, so you're gonna be here now. I'm also next to the freeway. But uh, you're tied atop the McCartney division with P Top Kevin Bottom, but you're in first place because you have a better divisional record. Here comes the truck. All this in the name of colonoscopies. Now I've got a little truck coming by. But anyhow, Matt, three game winning streak. Uh, you won both games this week? There he goes. Uh, even though you won both games, even though your four Denver Bronco players on Thursday night scored a combined 11 points. Uh, thank God though, your other five players scored 58 points to keep your team at nine and three second place in the McCartney due to your divisional record. So divisional games, they they mean a lot. So um, Pauly, boy, did you open up a can of whoop ass this week. 99 points, um, easily beating Coop's Fruit Loops and the Bloody Helmets. I mean, quite honestly though, that doesn't take much. So um, you had 30 from Drew Brees, 24 from David Johnson, and 21 from Tom Brady. So quick math, math is hard. 75 points, if I believe. Uh, you got a four game winning streak now, you're in third place in the McCartney, uh, but you're just a game and a half out of first place. So, uh, nice performance this week, uh, Paulie. Uh, Mike, you split for the week, you beat uh, Rafi's Revenge, but the good thing, you have now matched your win total for last year. You are, uh, I believe, seven, you know, you'd think I had this, you got seven wins. So what is that then? Seven and five, you're two games back, um, next week though, you're facing the divisional leaders. You got Coops, Fruit Loops, and Weapons of Mass Destruction, so that's gonna be kind of a, a tricky one. They got, you know, um, what the heck are they? They're nine and three and nine, two and one. So you got some competition next week, so. Uh, but you're doing well. Seven wins so far in the 2016 season, matches you for 2015. And Mike, you were probably the sexiest owner that made it for uh, homecoming weekend last week at the commissioner's office, so thank you for doing that. Uh, Martin, Cool Hand Luke, you split this weekend. You lost to my Pirates. Um, I don't get to say that very often, but Pirates. Um, but you got a three-point victory over Weapons of Mass Destruction. You are three games back in the McCartney, and you're in fifth place currently. So, I mean, three games out, fifth place, it's not bad. Um, my team, Pirates of the Caribbean, huge news this weekend. I swept. I won both games. I'm three and nine. Un freaking believable. I'm still six games back though out of first place and still in last place in the McCartney, but I don't have the worst record anymore. Oh, who would that be? Well, Taco Corp and Rafi's Revenge, but um, you know, this might just put uh, some of that whole hashtag Westie for Bucky, uh, push it to the side. Got another truck coming, so I'm on a major road. I'll give you that, so. Uh, semi is moving in and out, so, but take this time, figure out your colonoscopy time. There it was. All right, where are we? Chad, you split for the weekend. Uh, you got to buy, I mean, basically when you played the Legacy, you know, in their 27 point performance. Um, but then you ran into, uh, I don't remember who you ran into, but uh, you lost to somebody, I didn't write that down apparently. So, uh, sorry. But uh, you got the top spot in the Lennon, two games up on Bucky Sun because they couldn't take advantage of your loss. Um, you're nine, two, and one. You got the best record in the league. So, uh, congratulations. I'm just gonna throw this out there. One, 10, and one, that's Rafi's. They got the worst record, so not my team anymore. 
Uh, Luke, you split this week. You could have taken advantage and jumped up a game uh, on weapons. You didn't. You lost both. Um, if only you had started your running back who was sitting on your bench. And I'm going to screw this name up. Jay, a Jay, I don't know, out of Miami. 30 points sitting on the bench uh, instead of starting Lacey of the Packers, Homer, uh, and his two points, or Michael out of Seattle and his 14th. Had you started in a Jay, however the hell you say his name, you would have gotten the sweep. You'd only be a game back of weapons of mass destruction. So uh, currently, though, you're two games back in the Lennon sitting in second place. So uh, pickup truck coming by now. Not as loud as the big trucks. Uh, Eric, I know we give you a lot of crap on these uh, on your bloody helmet team, but uh, you split. You were blown out by points for PNS. Um, but really, who isn't blown by PNS? Sorry, you lost 99 to 51, and you won a tight one with Rafi's Revenge, winning by two points, 51 to 49. Uh, you're currently third place, four and a half games behind Weapons of Mass Destruction. So, um, you know, not bad. You're still doing pretty well. Um, I, I'm not certain of your record right now. You are uh, five and seven, so it's not terrible. Everybody's still in this. That's the beauty of this. Even me, six games out. Um, Okay, Rafi's Revenge, they're eight games back in their division. They, yeah, they're done. Um, but Loud Truck coming by. Somebody needs a muffler. There it was. Hopefully they're driving to the body shop right now to get a new muffler. I don't know. Uh, Dawson. 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 You, you performed like a colonoscopy this week. Uh, nine points from Joe Flacco. That was your high point score. Um, you scored a league low of 27 points. What, what was going on? Uh, five, five points on your bench, so obviously your bench wouldn't have impacted anything. Um, you've dropped the last three games. You're three, seven, and two on the season. Five and a half games out of first place. Uh, you, you remain, though, in fourth place, but um, I got a question. And give me a second to pause here because there's another truck coming by. There it goes. Your, your girlfriend was in town this weekend. Was your mind on her or your franchise? I've got to wonder because, quite honestly, you need to focus on your franchise and not your girlfriend right now. Okay? It should be franchise, school, girlfriend. School and girlfriend can be interchanged, but franchise should be up there first. So, um, Taco Corp. Wow. It's another, another colonoscopy. Uh, you're, re you're the returning two-time league champ. Um, you've lost four straight. I... You're three and nine, you're fifth place in the Lennon. Uh, you lost to P-Top Kevin Bottom and Bucky Sun this weekend. Um, see, just between you and I, okay? Here comes another truck that I think possibly does need a no new muffler. We'll let it go by. Not so loud, it's a little bit low. And I don't know how those trucks can get over our roads in Duluth, but that's not me. I own a Honda Accord, so which the camera is sitting on the hood right now. So, but Steve, uh, I'm wondering if the work schedule that you have, uh, in addition to working for the U of M, if working for the Vikes, the Wild, and the Gophers is taking too much time. Uh, I, I guess I've got to ask, when will the decision be made that Christine is going to take over running the team? Because Steve, three and nine. It's not a Steve Rudolph team I know. It's not a Steve Rudolph team that I love. So I'm just gonna say. And last but not least, well, last and in last, Rafi's Revenge. Rafi's, 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 poor Rafi's Revenge. They lost both games this week by two and five points. Um, oh, here comes somebody that's just peeling out of a parking lot, gonna whip by me. Um, so we'll take a little pause on that one. Um, Apparently, he's got to do 55 miles an hour out of the parking lot. Jackass. Anyhow, uh, Assassinate, you had six points on the bench. I know, Monday morning quarterbacking, but had you started that one player with those six points, you would have gotten the sweep. The sweep. The sweep. The sweep, 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 sweep. Anyhow, uh, that would have been the difference. You're eight games back in the Lennon, league worst 110 and one record. And I looked today on, on Twitter. And hashtag Cessna for Bucky, it has started trending. So um, 
since yesterday uh, it started trending. So, uh, gentlemen, we have a game in Britain uh, on Sunday. So check that one out. Um, I can't remember the teams, but they're in jolly old England. Um, and for those of you approaching 50, get a colonoscopy. Um, cover your butt, okay? That's all I gotta say. But uh, from a gorgeous day in Duluth, Minnesota, this is the commissioner saying, well, get a colonoscopy, but hashtag Cessna for Bucky. I do. All right, I figured I'd throw some footage in of the majestic looking trees, if you will. And Kirby, wherever she is. Kirby. There she is. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Come here. Look at all of them. Look at everybody. Say hi. All right. She's a weirdo. See you guys. Get your colonoscopies.